What is up ladies and gentlemen, Johnny5Live here and in today's video I'm going to be showing off my monstrous park that I created on the good golly Miss Molly scenario 6 of Planet Coaster. So stay tuned and let's check it out. Alright, if you do like this video, please remember to smash that like button. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And let me know what you guys think of my park down in the comments below. Alright, let's dive into it. First of all, I want to show you guys the, if you're not aware of the good golly Miss Molly scenario. I just want to jump in here really quick and show you what the scenario looks like and how it plays before getting started. Alright, so first of all, um, these are the scenario, or the scenario objectives. They're pretty straightforward. I mean, the, the hardest one here is get an, a coaster of an excitement rating of 5. Which with less, six, less than 6 nausea rating, at least 900 meters long, and reaches 70 miles per hour with a big drop of at least 65 meters. And I nailed that all with my Molly coaster that I can show you guys. I have another video actually uploaded for that. So this is the scenario map. This had me really, really excited because it's the first scenario throughout the game so far that actually gets you to challenge yourself, where the other scenarios are pretty flat, pretty boring, and it doesn't leave you to be inspired to create something fantastic. Whereas this, you can obviously see as they're coming in you you have to get them across to this area as well as you know you can I can already see myself building a nice little food court slash village here and putting some rides on the edges the map also gives you a height restriction it does not allow you to build higher than this peak here so that's also interesting because one of the first rides they give you is this thing but it breaks the height restriction being placed there you literally have to place it down in this gully in order to get the height restriction and that was actually the first ride I put down down. So very interesting. You could build all these towns and stuff down here and, um, you know, get all sorts of stuff going on here. So let's just jump into mine. I saved it off into sandbox mode so you can download it, but here's the actual career level. All right, here we are. So I did record a bunch of panning cameras and stuff. So I'm just going to you know, I'm going to give you guys a quick like discussion talk about this and what I thought of it. Then I'm going to cut to some music and just let you guys enjoy the panning shots. But this is my overall gigantic, enormous theme. Now, just to give you guys a rundown on like how it started off, I did put some rides down in a food court, ran this over here, put some more rides down and, and had the basic of the rides in. Once I did that, and then this guy, once I did that, I wanted to work on uh, my Miss Molly coaster, which I have a video for, and the link will be down in the description. Um, Miss Molly runs all the way through these caves and whatnot, and she goes down into the canyon and does all this crazy stuff. So I highly recommend checking out that video if you want to ride that coaster. It's absolutely amazing. That's what beat me the level. Then after that, I was just having so much fun, I decided to just really decorate and fine tune everything. Down to like, down to, you know, lights all along the, on the paths, you know, bushes, every little detail, benches, trees, everything. And then I ended up building this crazy coaster, which shoots them out with um, triggered events. And I have like, triggered events at the bottom for krakens and i just really went all out for the decorating and then i wanted to see if i could get a monorail in and the thing about monorails guys is they can only lift up this fast it takes a very long time for a monorail to get up somewhere this high in fact it's almost impossible to do that unless you wrap it all around things um so i ended up wrapping my monorail from all the way from this point all the way to here and then it goes across up into here and then it comes all the way back down and wraps all the way up down into a fourth station down here so um it's really exciting and i'm really glad to see that lots of people are using it they pay three dollars just to go from one point to another and it's never got backed up lineups because i literally have one arriving as one's leaving non-stop so no one ever has to wait it's it's continuously just pushing people around like a subway station it's great it's absolutely great and i have some little hidden canals and whatnot uh just a lot of detail gone into this map so uh there'll be a link down in the description below for you guys to download it and then i'm just going to stop talking and link uh, and just play some music and go to some camera shots and show you guys this at nighttime as well because this because it's absolutely amazing at nighttime all right guys thank you for watching be sure to like and subscribe oh i forgot to mention this so i'm clipping it back into the video this park uh i finished this park with a um i finished all three objectives in the park and, and i'm making a monthly profit of six thousand that's actually pretty good considering how how much free stuff I'm giving away and like you know how many employees I have and whatnot but it's super profitable I have a uh, park rating of 2750 
I, I don't know if that's good. I don't know what the maximum is. And then right now I have 4,300 guests walking about and some areas are absolutely just jam packed with people. It's crazy. So uh, yeah, a lot of fun. All right, back to the video.